was uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Um, uh, as you can see, I kind of uh, had to make some changes to my original plan. Um, the, if you're not familiar with the game Dance Dance Revolution, it's pretty much a, a step-based uh, video game where you read arrows off of a screen and step on a pad. Um, uh, I've had to use a laptop in this case as I want to use the projector, um, so it's, it's a much smaller screen. Um, so there is some error uh, as opposed to what my program originally did. Um, I'm going to start a new program now. Um, I'll demo it and then I'll talk about uh, what I did in the program and why I chose to do the things that I did. Um, it may be hard for you guys to see the screen um, since it's just a small laptop screen. Um, so I don't know. So it's kind of a sacrifice that I had to do for this. Um, so the accuracy is significantly reduced, uh, as well as the endless arrows. <laughs> so as you can see, the accuracy is not precise. Um, th that is, it does have to do some with this laptop being on top of the case. Um, but um, it was going after most of the arrows. Um, so I, I started this project uh, in the summer, uh, pretty much with the goal of making a robot uh, dance DDR. Um, so I built this pad, and originally um, I had intended that Darwin would, um, that Darwin would, um, he would not use a bar, he would shift all of his weight onto one leg and then step out and then down. Um, I found out that this is not only very time consuming, it really pushes the constraints of the robot uh, and its motors. Um, so I had to, I, I had to uh, use this bar for him to hold on to. Um, it increases balance and increases speed. Uh, in actual DDR games, there is a bar for humans to hold on to, although it is in the back. So that was kind of my justification um, for this modification. Um, Pretty much how my program works is I use an OpenCV library uh, called CV Blob to detect the blobs on, it, the, on a, in a picture. So he takes a picture, converts it to grayscale, finds the threshold image, and then I run the CV Blobs. Um, and so this will give me all the blobs that Darwin sees on the image. Um, and so I search for blobs that are the correct size of the bottom four arrows, um, what I like to call the base arrows. Um, and then using these these coordinates. Um, when arrows come down, he can move. He can decide which arrow goes into which category: uh, left, right, down, and up. Um, and so, when he takes a picture, he scans uh, to see which arrows are not the uh, are not the base arrows, and then he uses the first arrow and a second arrow to find the time between them and the x uh, coordinates or the y coordinates to find the velocity and what time it's going to hit the base arrow. Um, and using that information, uh, I send that to another thread, which then uh, processes all that and should execute the step at the correct time. Um, one thing that I have noticed is, as you can see, the arrows are somewhat far apart, especially for DDR. Um, this is about the uh, fastest speed which I can get right now before Darwin becomes, uh, where Darwin has too much information to process. So certainly the processing power of Darwin um, has, is limiting the speed of my program in some sort of ma uh, in a manner. Um, I could, uh, the, the, sorry, the, uh, probably the fastest physical time I could get Darwin to step would be about 1.1 to 1.2 seconds per step. Um, that is just based on how quickly the motors can move in the configuration. Uh, realistically, though, uh, the computation is taken in, it'd probably be about two seconds per step. Uh, this program that you saw earlier, that was about three seconds per step, and I have another one that does 2.5 seconds per step. 
Um, but the, the 2.5 has a uh, reduced uh, accuracy than the three uh, seconds per step. Um, there are some changes to the, uh, the that, that can be done in the future to make this uh, program work a little bit better. Uh, another students will be working on it this summer, where the uh, stepping will it'll right now it goes back to the neutral position every time it steps, and someone will work that it will not go back to the neutral position, so it can look up steps, um, and also some some management to try to uh, allow the prospect uh, to allow the handling of the information to flow smoother. Um, so that Darwin can do more steps. Uh, when there's uh, the, when there's Linux and two threads that are taking pictures and doing image processing, that can be a lot to handle for a single core uh, computer, um, and so that causes some of the slowdown. Um, any questions? I guess. Do you have some questions for me?